Hey everyone, this is MC. Uh, here I have really nice video on my son Hamza. I'm gonna do a low fade with a forehawk on the top. It's gonna be really nice uh, subtle forehawk uh, and very low fade. Uh, it is very nice haircut. I think it's like uh, easy to manage and nice for kids. Uh, and I think this haircut actually looks very good on him. So here to start with, I'm using one and a half to create a foundation for my style. I'm remo removing the bulk and uh, also creating a foundation for my fade. So this step is very important that you uh, strike the guidelines, that you create a foundation for your haircut and uh, it's easy also to fade from zero to one and a half versus uh, zero to whatever is on the top. So this is a very simple way to do it uh, and uh, it gives you maximum quality with a uh, very efficient time. Alright, so as you can see, I have uh, created a base for my haircut. I removed the bulk. I created a shape. I'm going to keep this low. I'm not going to uh, go very high. Uh, yet, when I style it, I'm going to style it into a forehead rather than uh, you know any other style. Which actually, in reality, you could leave it into different actually styles. Uh, you can just leave it fall naturally and it would actually look very good if he doesn't like to style it. But uh, if he wants to style it, it will look really nice uh, styled in full heart. So here, my next step here is I'm going to start my fade. And I'm starting with my uh, uh, magic clips here with a closed blade. My blades are adjusted to zero. So this is actually cutting pretty close. And I'm starting my fade there. So this is my second step. In my fading system, there is basically three steps. The first step is to cre uh, create a foundation for your fade, which in the same time creates the base for your style, as well as removes the bulk. My second step is to start your fade, to strike that first guideline, whether it's with the, uh, you know, edgers outliner or just my uh, you know magic clips uh, you know with a closed blade uh, those three I usually use for zero because they are each one is close, slightly closer than the other or any other whether you do uh, three zeros or five zeros it doesn't matter and then the third step would be just to remove that uh, line uh, there, right there, for example, between zero and one and a half. A lot of times, as you can see here, I still haven't used any guards. I am fading upwards right now from bottom up. And a lot of times you can actually do pretty good almost uh, without guards. Depends on the texture of the hair and uh, shape of the head. So now here I am uh, using one eighth of an inch with the open blade first and then I will uh, slightly close the blade or halfway and then three quarter way and then I will fully close the blade and then I will remove it and move to one eighth, uh, one sixteen of an inch or half guard what we call and I will follow the same process I will start with an open blade I will close the blade halfway, then I will close the blade three quarters way, and then I will close the blade all the way, and then you'll get that type of fade as you can see right there right now. So really it's pretty simple. There is no really it's no you know it's not rocket science there. As long as you can do the first step, the bulk removal and the foundation creation properly, uh really everything else is almost uh, very simple. The fading is very simple. 
as you can see uh, the transition between my side and the top there it is very uh, it's very small so it's going to be easy to blend out to remove that line and connect with the top and that I can do uh, probably with a razor or a planning shears or regular shears depends on the choice I usually make uh, the, the way I make choice for that usually is based on the texture of the hair the style I'm trying to create shape of the head and so on and so forth uh, so that's pretty basic. Over the years, I have created a system, a barbering system. I honestly feel this is a complete system. I have any, somewhere between 40 and 50 techniques. I have written them down, described them. In future, I would like to make uh, at least, uh, uh, you know, some type of a, like a notebook or a book, if you like, electronic book, uh, and also videos on all my techniques. But basically, the system consists of four categories. It has a clipper category, which is fading and different techniques with the clippers. It has scissor category, uh, which has about 10 different techniques with scissors. It has a razor technique, which also has 8 to 10 different techniques uh, from sculpting, uh, shaving, shape up, uh, from a razor over comb, razor with a comb. Uh, razor notching, razor point cutting, uh, and so on, L uh, laser, ra uh, razor layering. There are actually quite a few different techniques. And then also blow drying styling as one category. And to be honest, that is the most difficult category to master uh, the styling of long hair. Uh, to learn how to properly control the, the, the blow dryer and the brush to make them work in a harmony together. Um, how to comb your hair after you blow dry this your combing doesn't contradict your blow dryer and your brush but also you want to make sure that your blow dryer doesn't contradict your brush when you work and honestly this is it seems like crazy until you really start working on this and once you get going it becomes really addictive uh, and it was really for me a great experience learning how to blow dry and style for the world competition it really takes you to a uh, levels that you don't even know that is possible to do with a blow dryer and a brush. So yeah, my system has about three, uh, 40 to 50 techniques and it really is a full system. So now I'm done with the sides. I have really nice uh, side fade, as you can see, starting from zero. Now to connect uh, the sides with the top, I'm using scissor over comb. Scissor over comb is an uh, extremely difficult technique to master. Uh, really, I mean, we do it every day in a barber shop and in a salon. Uh, and it seems pretty simple, but it's really, for me personally, one of the most difficult techniques to master. Uh, people ask me why do I use both hands? Is it just a show? Uh, or, you know, really there's benefit to it? I honestly personally believe that there is a huge benefit, benefit from using both hands. I am not ambidextrous. Uh, I am uh, only right, but I learned uh, how to properly use scissors in my left hand. It was a challenge at the beginning, but the right there, for example, is why you have to learn to use a right and left. You see right there? So it is a lot easier right now to use left here versus using a right. Uh, those are some of the situations, but besides that, uh, you want to give a break to your uh, right hand, especially if you are busy over and over doing this, you develop a carpal tunnel and other issues with your hand. So you have to give a break to your hand and, uh, you know, basically do half of the work with one hand and the other half with the other hand. It was not quite easy at the beginning to learn, but uh, if you are persistent, uh, you know, you will definitely make it. Winners never quit and quitters never win. So now uh, I'm switching here to uh, my right hand. Another uh, benefit that you have when you are using both uh, hands, you are not always leaning to one side. So now I'm leaning to my right side. When I switch 
two cards with my left hand, I will be leaning to my left side. And that's another uh, benefit, so you kind of balance yourself. Because uh, we want to do as much as possible uh, on preserving our body uh, for a long time. When you do scissor or comb, it's important uh, that you only move your thumb. Move your thumb, as you can see here. I'm only moving my thumb, and I'm moving uh, the other four fingers. And I like to give shout out to all my followers from around the world, uh, from pretty much all the countries, from Brazil, uh, from Argentina, uh, in general from South America, uh, Mexico. Uh, uh, from uh, Europe and France, uh, Sweden, Hungary, Romania, Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia, uh, and all other. It was great meeting some of my fans in France when I was there in September. Uh, shout out to all of you guys. Uh, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free uh, to post them and ask any questions you might have. We learn from each other, I learn from you, and you guys learn from me. So now for the top, uh, we're going to use the scissors. Uh, I'm not going to remove too much here, but I'm going to create the texture. So I'm going to create some, I'm going to do some point cutting. And mostly I'm concentrating on creating a texture for that texture look uh, instead of removing much of the length. Uh, shout out to Jared. We Wheeler, I, I cannot pronounce his name, so difficult. He is from Indiana. He was my student uh, this week uh, in shadowing. He was shadowing me for 40 days, I mean 40 hours. Uh, he was a great student and a great barber. Uh, I, I wish him a lot of success in his barbering career. Uh, very fine gentleman. As well, I like to shout out to all my previous students uh, that came to see me from around the United States. So as you can see, I'm uh, only uh, like removing, uh, or I should, I should say creating a texture. I'm really not removing a length hardly at all. I'm leaving the link pretty much the way it is, uh, but just creating a texture so when he styles it, it looks slightly uh, messy. For our availability for our classes, you can contact us. Uh, through our website mcbarber.com or you can uh, call at 860-995-5779 uh, we do 40-hour uh, classes where you can come and uh, shadow us for, uh, for a week or we do as well private classes on Sunday Monday as well if you like you can host one of our workshops in your salon and we will be more than happy to uh, come to your location as well. It is important that you properly uh, that you learn how to properly blow dry hair into a style. It's all in the roots. You have to set the roots. They have to be very dry, otherwise if the roots are not dry, the style will collapse. So it's very important to learn how to do that. Um, the brush I'm using is actually a prototype. 
It's not a particular brand. I've been getting questions about this brush. Uh, it's actually a very nice brush. I love the brush. It is uh, a product of the brush that I would like to have made. Uh, it's very firm. It's nine row. It's very light. And it's a very nice brush. As for now, it's not possible to uh, get it anywhere. Uh, but in the future, uh, I really hope that I will be uh, carrying this brush myself. As for my razor, I still have uh, some left. Uh, there is limited amount available. Uh, hopefully, I'm really hoping that I will be able to get them again. I have to uh, contact the company and say I want to make that particular razor for me. Because that was only uh, the art edition from uh, United Salon Technology. Alright, for style here, I am using Natural Matte Cream by Leirai. Shout out to Leirai as well. Uh, it's a fine uh, men's product. Uh, it's really good. Uh, this is matte finish with a medium hold. It gives you that natural look and a medium hold. Uh, you can use it like this with the dry hair. It gives you the finish as you can see. And sometimes if the hair is longer, you can use some hairspray uh, as well. All right, guys, so there it is. You have a low fade with a nice forehead. This is your before. I, went, I damped the hair slightly as you can see and comb it down in the direction that it grows and then I start cutting and now as you can see this is your finished look it looks really nice on Hamza alright guys thank you for watching I really appreciate it uh, please uh, follow me on Instagram it's the MC Barber T-H-E M-C Barber one word uh, my Facebook is MC Barber mcbarber.com is my website uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet uh, I would really appreciate that very much. Uh, and uh, in the future, uh, I, I'm planning to start to do review on all the tools and products that I use. So uh, tune in to my in my channel uh, to find out what type of tools do I use and why do I use them, uh, and what type of products do I use and why do I use them. Uh, so uh, you can learn on my system, MC Barber a system and then uh, hopefully it will bring you a lot of success thank you for watching i'm mc barber until next time take care of yourself